everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to just hop on here super quickly and do a little review on this little Senref Maestra. Now you guys know that I am a big fan of Senref just because I have a lot of different bags from them but I wanted to talk about the latest one that I picked up but as you guys know, before we get started, I just want to thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my videos. And most importantly, I appreciate all of you. So if you guys are new here, I love handbags, accessories, honestly, anything designer, contemporary, SLG, all of the above. So if you guys enjoy things like that or enjoy content like that, please consider subscribing. gonna pop my Instagram up here. I will love to meet you guys. Please check me out. Give me a follow if you guys have any questions on this video or any other videos or reviews you've seen on my channel. Always feel free to DM me or reach out. I would love to help you where I can. Okay, so jumping right into this Senrev Maestra. Now you guys know that I just like Senrev. I have the Aluna um, and the mini size, the bigger size, and then the Aria. So I have those three. Um, and I have a couple of their SLGs, but I really wanted like a workhorse bag, like something really big, um, super durable, and I can just kind of like toss around. So I got this one during their CNY sale. It was like you buy, you spend like a certain amount, you get like a gift with purchase. And I had selected this um, card case right here. And I just, you know, I love a good pop of color when it comes to SLG. So I actually picked up this one. Now this right here um, is in there. What is this one called? Uh, mimosa. So the mimosa is almost like a Louis Vuitton epi leather. Senrev, Senrev has a pebble leather. They have this Maestra, which is a line like this. And they also, I believe, have... Um, do they have like a smooth leather? They have like croc embossed. I think it's called their dragon leather. Um, they have a couple more. I'll throw some on screen. But yeah, I like this one because I, well, first of all, I love this color. This is in latte, obviously. Something latte, latte. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. And it's such a neutral. Um, but let me just show you the specs of the back super quickly. So if you guys are familiar with Sunref, it has this closure that looks very similar to what you would see in all the other ones. This part's magnetic, it still has the sticker on because like I said, I actually have not used the bag since I got it. The inside is lined in this really nice micro suede and this is in all their Sun Rev is their signature. But here's what the inside looks like. You have inner pockets, you have this little pocket for pen or lipstick and then you have this back pocket over here. And then on this side, you actually have another zip pocket plus these little two pouches and here's what the zip looks like. So it's super spacious and it has a little like back pocket over here. And like all other Sunrev, you some of them are in silver, some of them are in gold. This one, Latte is paired with gold hardware. You can actually remove these and just add like um, a chain or any other statement strap that they have and I have the statement strap I'll drop a couple on screen um, but it has a top handle like this this can be worn as a backpack so if you did want to wear this as a backpack you just go ahead and pull this like so I'm not a backpack person so I will not be wearing it as a backpack but you could and it honestly doesn't look great when I wear it as a backpack top handle bag like this um, or I plan on just holding it like this too. And I'll probably switch the straps because you guys know I like to play around with my straps. But let me just show you really quickly what actually fits inside here. And it actually fits a ton. Start off with the obvious things. Like this is my mini iPad and this actually fits perfectly back here. Part of the reason why I wanted to get this size bag is because if I wanted to go somewhere with my iPad, look how great that looks. Um, wanted to throw in my desk agenda. It fits like this, but it's not going to go all the way in just so you guys know, but this is also in the bigger size. If you have like the MM size, it should fit in perfectly. That's the A5. So if you want a full size wallet, that will definitely through some of the quick stuff I have here. Here's just like a regular wallet. This is the Victorine. This also fits great in here. So here's what that looks like inside right now. 
if I wanted to go ahead and add my Fendi pouch. Here's what that looks like. And then a phone. This is the 12 Pro Max that fits perfectly. And you guys can see, like I can fit so much more in here. I don't need to show you like all the details. Obviously cosmetics, anything small will fit in here. But now you can kind of get an idea by seeing the bigger items fit. And a lot of other things people want to ask is, well, is it going to fit like the chunkier thing? If I want to add a water bottle, bring a snack like this banana, that also fits. I could still, with this, squeeze in, let's say, like I want to bring my Chanel glasses. This is like a little pouch I keep like Advil and things in. I'm stick this in there. Look, that all fits with no issues too. And the great thing about this is there's a zipper here, so you can zip it up for security. And if you didn't want to use this part, ex extra snap, you, didn't, you don't have to. Or if you're too lazy to zip it, you can actually just close it like this too and not worry about it and then hold it like this. Now the bag itself isn't super heavy, but it's not like super light because this is like a pretty dense material. So I just wanted to call that out. So if you're looking for like a super light bag, this is probably not it, but it's definitely not heavy. I don't, unfortunately don't have like a scale here, so I can't tell you the exact um, weight of it. But yeah, I would say like, it's still like pretty good. Um, out so you can see so so yeah again here it is empty and like I mentioned it really does hold a lot and it's this is in and I apologize I don't even think I said the size this is is their Maestra in the mini so they have the Maestra medium which is the midi and then they have the Maestra which is the bigger size and I can't remember the exact name I'll drop it on screen but yeah those are like if you want to carry your laptop or you want to use it as a work bag a traveling bag something that fits more you definitely um, want to look into those but know that the the um, closure on that one is not magnetic it will just be I think a directly I think it's just like a pull through I'll drop it on screen so you guys can see but it's it's a little bit different I don't need to use that for work I use my long chomp I like it really really light for work because I just throw everything in there um so I don't need that kind of heaviness but with this one I think it's perfect for like the weekend and if I want to throw like let's say a sweater because it's cold outside I'm going to be using it at night this is a thick sweater too, actually fits inside. I could still throw in a water bottle so you guys can see. So yeah, like that's the idea of this bag and that's exactly why I purchased it. I think it's perfect for that kind of use. Um, and if you guys didn't see, it comes with this little key ring too. You can attach your keys on there. So yeah, just a really great size for a bigger bag, I guess, because you guys know I like smaller bags. This to me, although it's called a mini Maestra, to me, this is a big bag. Um, and I would rather use this versus a tote. That is basically it. I Oh, and then it has feet too. So yeah, it still has the stickers, but it's such a cute little bag. I will give you a better review once I've actually used it and I can tell you what I think about it. Also, if you guys want to see comparison or see the other, how this compares to the other SendRev bags I have, drop me a comment below. I know a lot of you guys are looking at SendRev and you're trying to figure out, you know, what it, what kind of bag is worth it. They have a ton of promos, so I would wait until there's a promo to actually purchase a bag. I definitely wouldn't um, just get it if there isn't anything. That's just my take. Now, I do want to note, this is definitely not sponsored, so I know that a lot of people are saying... Well, I, we don't know if this is a sponsored video, so I don't know if I, this is your real opinion. This is 100% my true opinion, not sponsored. Um, I just wanted to throw it out there. I just personally like the brand, and I see this more in the contemporary designer bags. I don't see this as like a designer bag. I think that depends how you see it, but that's just my take personally. Um, all their bags, I think, are made in Spain. It used to be made in Italy. I don't know if some are still Italy, some are Spain, but I think majority of them are Spain now. Um, and I do say that like their quality is pretty on par. I just like how durable they are and I don't have to worry about it because as much as I love my designer bags, you know, I always mention, I also just sometimes want a carefree bag where I can just toss it and not think about it. And this one, scratch resistant, water resistant, can go in the rain, it can be thrown around, you can put it on the floor probably, it has feet. 
I mean, like, I just don't have to worry about it. And sometimes that's just what we need in our life, a little carefree moment. <laughs> so that is all. Super quick video. Just want to hop on here and show this little cutie. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.